In 2007, Alabama experienced typical wildfire conditions that spawned 4,476 wildfires, burning in excess of 73,000 acres. At the time, the Alabama Forestry Commission had 323 employees, including 214 firefighters and a state general fund appropriation of $15.5 million. On May 7, 2007, a wildfire ignited in St. Clair County near the town of Odenville. The Forestry Commission responded with six suppression units and 12 firefighters. The suppression units and personnel were drawn from the resources available for St. Clair County and the adjacent counties. For three days, Forestry Commission firefighters battled the fire. In the end, the wildfire was contained at 270 acres, the area highlighted in red. Over the past several years, the Forestry Commission has faced steadily declining revenue from the state's general fund and other sources, which directly impacts the agency's ability to meet one of our primary mandates, protecting citizens and property from wildfire. Today, the Forestry Commission has only 176 firefighters compared to 214 in 2007. This simulation shows what would happen if the wildfire occurred today and the Forestry Commission did not have the resources or manpower available to respond. The results would be catastrophic. Without the Forestry Commission, this wildfire would consume 16,605 acres, or 61 times the acres that were actually lost. Although the loss of productive forest land is significant, during the spread of the wildfire, the direct impact to citizens in the immediate area are staggering. 1,704 people would be displaced due to the loss of their homes. 924 residences, businesses, and other structures would be destroyed by this fire. The cost of the damages based on a current appraisal values is $93.6 million. This does not include the potential losses that the city of Odenville would face with the loss or damage of their elementary and high schools, which at a minimum would have to be closed along with all of its public buildings because of smoke issues. These dollar figures do not include the value of the timber lost or the impact on the local economies of the cities and the state from the fire or the strain on emergency services from health-related services or evacuation needs. Smoke from this wildfire would impact Interstate 20, potentially causing multiple vehicle accidents or closing the interstate entirely. Airline flights in and out of Birmingham would have to be redirected for takeoffs and landings, or the airport may have to be closed due to lack of visibility. Air quality would be severely degraded downwind of the fire, creating major health concerns, especially for senior citizens and children. But most importantly, none of these numbers reflect the potential for the loss of life that would result from this fire.